In the video today, I wanted to speak about cruelty-free and vegan makeup. I think that it's absolutely not necessary to test makeup on animals. In general, I try to reduce harm as much as possible. That's why I'm also vegan. And in this video, I wanted to give you some tips and resources how you could minimize harm as well. Especially now, before Christmas, if you want to get some makeup as a present for your family or your friends, why not to choose cruelty-free options? It's so much better for everyone. First of all, I want to explain what is the difference between cruelty-free and vegan. Cruelty-free means that the makeup wasn't tested on animals or cosmetics in general, and vegan means that this product doesn't contain any animal ingredients. For example, there could be the case that this product wasn't tested on animals, but it contains, for example, some components of animal fat. In this case, this product would be cruelty-free, but wouldn't be vegan. The situation with animal testing is a bit confusing, because some of the companies, they say they're cruelty-free, so they don't test this product on animals, but they hire different companies who do the testing for them, or maybe even if they don't test the entire product on animals, maybe they test some of its components. If you want to know more about this topic, I will link some resources below. There is one really great page, Logical Harmony, and there are several articles on this topic and also a list with brands that are really cruelty-free. If you have no time to read a lot about this topic before you get your Christmas presents, then you can just go for Lush or Body Shop. There are lots of stores around in the UK and Lush is cruelty-free, but some of the products aren't vegan, so you would need to ask, and the same applies for Body Shop. Now I wanted to show you some of the makeup I use. I really like this cold pencil, it's from Beauty Without Cruelty. The same applies for this mascara, it's also from Beauty Without Cruelty. I use both now for probably three years, I really like them. Usually I get them from a local vegetarian or vegan supermarket or also when I go to veg fests. Also, I try to support more local brands, that's why when I'm at Vegfest, I usually try to get makeup there. For example, the last time when I was at the Cambridge Vegan Fair, then I got this eyeshadow. I've chosen the purplish colors, so you can see them here. It's really, really nice. Now to my lipsticks or lip balsams. When I want to have something without color, I go for a neutral one, just so that my lips don't dry out. I picked this one up from Holland & Barons. Then I have one from Lush. You have to be careful with Lush, because not all of these lipsticks are vegan. All of them are cruelty-free, but not all vegan. Just to be on the safe side, just ask. I got this one from Body Shop, which is cruelty-free and vegan, but I had to ask which lipsticks are vegan and then I have had oh, many, many to choose from. This one is also kind of red purplish because probably as you can see, it's my favorite color. I have it on as well. <laughs> this was a short summary on cruelty-free makeup and which products I use, but there's so much more. Actually, one of my friends, she helped me to do this video and she gave me lots and lots of great links and resources where one can get really amazing, cruelty-free and vegan makeup. I will put all the links below and I already checked it out. I absolutely love it and I will definitely order more in the near future. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, just comment below or maybe you have some tips. Where do you get your cruelty-free or vegan makeup from? I would absolutely love to know it and I would absolutely love to learn from you. Just let me know. See you tomorrow in the next video.